Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. About a week ago, KDE Plasma released their updated desktop 6.5. And a few days ago, Arch Linux released it. And today, I'm going to take a brief look at it. So, let's get to it. Right now, I'm in my main production computer. I'm running Arch Linux with a DWM window manager. And I'm not going to go into a virtual machine today. I'm going to work in a real bare metal computer. And what I did was I took one of my computers. And I did a fresh install of Arch Linux using Arch Install, their automated installer. And I went into Profiles and used Profiles to install KDE Plasma. And the only thing I added to it was the Helium web browser and FastFetch. Didn't add any other apps or any of my configuration files. I didn't do my post install scripts or my GitLab repository or nothing. Now I'm going to use my capture card to record what's going on in that computer. So don't go away. I'll be back. Now I'm recording from the other computer with my capture card. And this is KDE Plasma 6.5. And one thing I want to note, and this was in previous versions, but it might only be a year old or something, I'm not sure, and that's this. Click on this little light here. This has been around, I think, for a year or so, but it's not that old, and I love this. Look at this. Oh, I think that's great. I don't know any other desktop that has that. Isn't that great? I like that. Now, there's another thing here that's been here for quite a while. And this third item, Nightlight, this has been here for quite a while. And it's also included in the Cinnamon desktop environment and the GNOME desktop environment. And I've never used it. I tried it for a couple of seconds and didn't like it a long time ago. I tried it and didn't like it. And I'm talking about this because I'm going to show you something else later. And I don't want you to think I'm talking about this. So this is called Nightlight. And all it does is change the hue of your screen, of your monitor, when you're working at night and it's supposed to be easier on your eyes. And you can add this to a timer so it's automatic between daytime and nighttime. Like I said, I've never used it and I don't like it. And I'm only mentioning this because I'm gonna talk about something else and I don't want you to think I'm talking about this because there's something else in KDE Plasma 6.5 that's brand new. Of course, you can right click this and they have uh, lots of nice wallpapers. Uh, there's all these beautiful wallpapers here. Uh, I think they're really nice. And actually the wallpaper I have right now is not the default wallpaper. It's one of the ones that were in here. Uh, I think this one was the default wallpaper. Let's apply it. Let's just go down. There, that's the default wallpaper. And um, these wallpapers with the light and dark moon or the light and dark sun. In the corner, the top right corner, these wallpapers look different and have a different color depending on whether you're using dark theme or light theme. And the ones without it, like this one here, is static. The wallpaper is not going to change when you switch from uh, light theme to dark theme. And I like this one here. I'm just going to put that back. And let's apply it. You know what? Let's go into HTOP and see how much RAM we're using. So this is, like I said, is a real bare metal computer. It has four processors, no swap, and 8 gigs of RAM. And we're running at 952 megabytes of RAM, which is a little bit high. It's higher than a cinnamon desktop, and for sure it's higher than a window manager, but it's still running a lot less, a lot lower than uh, Windows 10 or Windows 11. And I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna open up uh, console, and let's just do a fast fetch. You can see I'm in Arch Linux. This is my Acer 3950, and I'm in KDE Plasma 6.5. And I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna go over here to uh, system settings, and I'm gonna scan down to colors and themes. And I'm gonna select Breeze Dark. And I'm gonna apply it. Now we're in a dark theme, so I'm gonna close that. And let's open up Dolphin, our file manager. There's Dolphin. I really like this dark theme, eh? It's kinda nice. <laughs> and let's open up our settings. Let's scan back down here to colors and themes. And I'm gonna go back to a light theme. Let's apply it. And now we're back in the light theme. Now the thing that's brand new in 6.5 and I think this thing I'm going to talk about is not available on any other desktop is this. We're going to toggle on this switch and now it's going to switch between light theme and dark theme during the day and at night. So this is what I was referring to when I was showing you the hue and that the reason why I explained the hue changing 
is because I didn't want you to confuse this with that. And I, and when showing you this, I didn't want you to think I was talking about that, where the hue of your monitor can change to uh, something that's a little easier on the eyes during the night and during the day automatically. This is actual light theme and dark theme changing depending on whether it's day or night. So right now it's going to change between this light theme. So I'm going to toggle that off for a second. So right now when it's toggled on, it's going to switch between this light theme and this dark theme, depending on whether it's day or night. So let's click it back on. Well, okay. So I'm going to toggle the switch on. Now I have to click on the supply button right here. Let's apply it. And there we are. It automatically switched to light. So now what's going to happen is at nighttime, it's going to automatically switch to a dark theme. And during the day, it's automatically going to switch to a light theme. And I know it works because I tested it. And I tested it to make sure that it works in the morning and to make sure that it works at night. Now, if you click on this one, configure day and night cycle, it's telling you right now, if you look at here, it's telling you sunrise at 7.46 a.m. and sunset is at 6.16 p.m. Now it has a automatic detection and for some reason this computer automatic detection is not working and I don't know why. So it's saying 6 a.m. is sunrise and 6 p.m. is sunset. Now I also installed a KDE Plasma 6.5 in a virtual machine. And in my virtual machine it was automatically detecting my sunrise and my sunset. But in this real bare metal computer it's not automatically detecting it and why? I don't know. So I clicked on manual. And these were empty, so I didn't know what my latitude and longitude are. So I clicked on this here, this little link here, and it opens up the web browser. So right here it shows my IP address, which I'll black out, my network, which I'll black out, my postal code, which I'm going to black out, <laughs> my, I, my ISP organization, I'm going to black that out. But I'll leave this one in. It's going to show the latitude and the longitude. And it's going to black out these other things for the sake of the video. I just copied these. Okay, copy these two here, and I don't need my web browser open anymore. And I pasted them in here, and it fixed it. So now the sunrise and the sunset is correct. And next weekend, we'll be changing the time. We'll be going an hour backwards, and I presume this is automatically going to fix itself. So like I said, I tested it in the morning, and I tested it at night, and it switches between light theme and dark theme. I really like this. This is almost enough to make me abandon or give up my window managers and go to KDE Plasma. Maybe not. <laughs> now, another new thing that KDE Plasma has, well, they had it before, but they say they've revised it and made it easier to use, and that is remote desktop. Now, I think the last time I did a video on KDE Plasma was earlier this year. Maybe it was late last year. I'm not really sure. And in that video, I installed KDE Plasma in a virtual machine. And I tried using the remote desktop to remote into it. I was able to make the connection, but the video was all messed up. The monitor was messed up. And I think it had to do with my virtual machine software video drivers. It wasn't working properly. Now, the one in GNOME, so the GNOME desktop also has easy to use remote desktop. And in my virtual machine, the GNOME one was working with my virtual machine video drivers. But the KDE Plasma one wasn't, and it's still not today. Even with this 6.5 release, uh, the remote desktop is not functioning properly with my virtual machine that's running KDE Plasma. And I think it has something to do with the virtual machine software video drivers. I'm not sure. But it is working in this bare metal computer. So I'm going to go to uh, here. I'm in settings right now. We just have to find the remote desktop settings here it is here. So I'm going to click this on remote desktop. So what you have to do is toggle this on enable RDP server. So I click that on. You put your IP address in here, which I'm going to black out. Click on this and put your username in. Uh, click on auto start. You want to click on auto start. So every time you log into your system, your RDP server, your remote desktop server will be turned on. And really that's all you have to do. And then I'm going to close that. Also, you have to turn off your firewall, or if you want to leave your firewall on, you have to open up the port 3389. So now I'm going to turn off my capture card and go back to my other computer. So now I'm back in my other computer. <laughs> okay, my capture card is off. Now I'm going to log into the other computer through your remote desktop. So I'm going to do Alt-R is going to open up Rofi. And you can see right down here, I have Romina. I'm going to open up Romina. And here is the one. It's here is the one right here. It's Acer-2 KDE. And I'm going to black out my uh, IP address. You don't need to see that. 
I'm going to click it on, and there we are. And this up here, this is, uh, if I click on this little pin here at the end, it's going to disconnect, okay? So we've logged into the other real bare metal computer through a remote desktop. You can open up my web browser. This is the Helium web browser. I can open up uh, Dolphin, my file manager. I can open up system settings. I can do whatever I want to do. And let's just do an HTOP now. And now it's running a little bit higher because when we, uh, it's running at 1.2 gigabytes, because when you log in through remote desktop, it adds another, it uses up another 200 megabytes of RAM. So let's close that. It works just like that. <laughs> and now I'm going to disconnect. So I'm going to click this on and I'm going to close Ramina. Now I'm back in my main production computer and that's it. In this video, I gave you a brief tour of KDE Plasma 6.5 and I focused on two items. Number one, their light theme and dark theme can be set to a timer where it automatically changes at night and during the day according to your time zone for sunrise and sunset. And as a matter of fact, like I said, I tested it and it works. It works in the morning and it works at night. And I like it so much, it's almost enough for me to say, I'm going to get rid of my window managers and use KDE Plasma. Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> but I think it's really good. And I also showed how remote desktop works easily and seamlessly in KDE Plasma, where you can log in from another computer into that computer and have complete control of the desktop. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Lennox Match.